Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, you know who I am, and I need you to go to our website, tpsgpodcast.com. Check out the gear. We got stuff from cell phone cases all the way to hats. Go get yourself fresh. Holla. Thank God for technology. Right? It's so true. In, oh in these quarantine times. Why didn't we're we think of this before? Because we's niggas. Hey, bro. We are Swiss <laughs> Army. Army <laughs> niggas. Oh, hold on. We're going to get there. However, it's your boys. <laughs> it's the Physics Study Group. Hashtag TPSG. Back uh-huh. in this bitch. And First if you can see, my boys are back. We back Mr. In- Boobaye, Mr. I C Black, what it do? Sure, kick off the ex- introduction, son. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> they know me. Introductions. They they know me as Jormatic. Nobody and- cares. Uh, it's your boy I C Black, aka. <laughs> wow, what a dickhead. <laughs> I see that has <laughs> changed. It's but it's, to- it's Jormatic, <laughs> aka Wayne Chappelle, aka Loud Fact Chopra, aka Quarantine Tarantino. Hey. <laughs> the, man, the man and put together some literature too. <laughs> uh, who else? Who else? Oh, next. Oh, next. Go ahead, dog. Go ahead, dog. Oh, go ahead, David dog. Oh, yeah. Nah. Boy, David Bowman. Uh, AKA. It's been a minute. It's been a real minute. Chico Fantastico. AKA. AKA. It's been a minute. <laughs> AKA. Fantastic. What was it? Uh, Barack Obama. The Fantastico, the Fantastic Chico, a.k.a. Barack <laughs> Obama. Barack. A. Hennessy Blessed. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey. Blessed yeah, is good to be back. It's good to be back. It's good to see y'all faces. I'm happy. Likewise, happy. likewise. Word, word. You know who's that in the upper right-hand corner? Barack Zulu, a.k.a. Zulu. Sir Black Style in the Third, aka Nicodemus, aka Pablo Escovich, aka Wayne Namda, aka No More, aka Stop the Violence. <laughs> Ironic group, group. All right. You know what, your boy? It's been too long. I seen Black, aka Black Dynamite, aka Wade Bixby, aka Shabby Ranks, aka. What, what? Samurai Black, aka Black Dynamite, aka Swiss Army Nigga, Swiss Army Nigga, all off Swiss Army Nigga, Swiss Army Nigga, hold the last move. Hey, looking like you played a triangle for steel pulse. <laughs> More cow. Hey, that's the point. You don't try even the triangle, dog. More <laughs> cow. Don't sleep. In fact, I got my trusted triangle right. Just playing. <laughs> oh, it's one of those devices Steve Jobs raped y'all for? Damn. Somebody's really hurt that he doesn't get to participate in Apple greatness. That's, uh, yeah, that's I'm really what it is. But this yeah, is an Amazon knockoff. You know I mean? It's, it's, yeah, it's like I gotta cable. have a headphone jack. Well, can you make beats on your Galaxy tab? Probably not. Absolutely, I can. Anyway, Producer mixdown. This is this is not iPhone versus Android. We'll have another discussion later. Yeah, this What's is Apple, Apple versus everybody. <laughs> oh, get 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 on 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 that <laughs> oh, I'm already dead on that hill. Again. I'm already dead <laughs> on that hill. But what y'all been? But what y'all been doing though? How y'all been? Uh, you know, leveling up per se. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's a quarantine. Uh, you know, you know what I feel like. I feel like I'm in the hyperbolic time chamber. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? God, I hope cell doesn't come. Good Lord. <laughs> Word. That's the last thing we need. Or boo. That man uh, yelled uh, and escaped the hyper... Never mind. But yeah, that's how I feel. I thought <laughs> how scary something like that would be in real life. Right? Oh, it would be know, terrifying. Like, just like, oh, damn, damn. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Imagine having a room. How are we gonna fight the aliens and we inside? 
<laughs> right? <laughs> and I can't even get to level five thousand, much less level level nine thousand. How much right. you think that would right. if there was a room where you could like level up for it? You could just sit there for a year, and it'll be a day in real time. Like, how much you think it would cost to go in that room and just spend like? Oh, uh, that would be crazy. The cost, the cost imagine, would be the it, cost would be however much that room costs, and then ten percent more. <laughs> I wonder <laughs> how high the risk is going in a place like that, bro. <laughs> like you might come out a baby. You might not. There's about a size of 30 chance. Right. And if your body can't hold up, you might die. <laughs> Sign this waiver to your just in case your children need to raise you. Right. Holy shit. I hope your all your consciousness is well tethered to your body. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like daddy's talking so much. But all uh, personally. Personally, twenty one thousand customers get lost in limbo. What? Yo, that was a that was the first in a long time TPSG. Wow, that I miss those. It's really back right. in. Oh God. But personally, personally, um, you know, everybody knows I write. Uh, during quarantine, oh, yeah. I've been my my wrist has been hurting from writing. Like mm-hmm. I've been writing so much. Like. Like stuff I put out, stuff I scrap, like it's crazy. Like, I, like the other, like the other, like last year, I wrote like twenty pages of a script in like three months, and then these last two weeks in quarantine, I just wrote forty pages, forty brand new pages. So, yeah. I'm trying my best. <laughs> yeah, man. Can't wait to see it on the silver first, screen. First oh, dibs, yeah. first dibs on the actors, man. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, you know, I got to tell the producer, all right, just give my homeboys a chance. Let's give them a chance. If they suck, they suck. <laughs> Yo, can I be like if, You know what? I'm perfectly fine if Denzel plays me. Like, yeah, I have no idea. Wow. <laughs> Word. Get Idris some, some hair extensions. He can, he can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, Hollywood, and I'm going to play Hollywood. myself because I'm pretentious. <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood does dreads terrible. I've never seen a good pair of fake dreads in Hollywood in my life. Bro. No. Yeah, the, closest, awful. the closest is, um, uh, what's the nigga that played uh, Eminem's friend at 8 Mile? Future. Well, <laughs> Mackay Future Mackay is Mackay Pfeiffer. Oh, yeah. Pfeiffer had the best dreads in cinema history. Anything after that is trash. It then, though. Say it again? You tell it was a lazy you know, one. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. They, but they were my dreads. They look unwashed. But you know what? Yeah, um, it'd be looking rough. No, but Makai Pfeiffer's character was based on Proof from D12, and Proof's dreads yeah. actually did look fake back. And if you look up old footage, his dreads look like that. They were, they were oh. different. Yeah, they oh, looked man. like exactly then. <laughs> not they were really his hair, I guess. But shoot, so I guess they got it down pat. Probably this time. So what else? So so, oh. my ear, you've been oh. gone for like two years. What you been up to, my nigga? Oh shit! Not just working, living, you know, exploring, chilling. Uh, I mean, during this Rona, it's kind of shut a lot of that shit down. But uh, really, Tell just working it. and yeah, trying to stay. I'm not really used to staying inside this much. Like this, this shit mm-hmm. is, or or Yo. at least that when I want to go somewhere, I just up and go. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's the adjustment. Uh, out here collecting fine art. Oh yeah, yeah. Is that James? I mean, a little bit of painting, you know what I mean? A little bit of painting here and there. Look like yeah. Morgan Freeman. Word. <laughs> it looks like Joy. Yeah. Had yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, like he came by this it doesn't look like old dramatic. <laughs> Actually, you're right. It's you in like 30 years. <laughs> Oh, that makes sense. That looks like Ice Cube in like a couple years. <laughs> days, uh, oh, that looks like Ice Cube for real. <laughs> oh, that's definitely Ice Cube. Good, good eye, Flocker. That's definitely Ice Cube. <laughs> Not all black people look the same. Racist. So a couple look like that, including Ice Yeah, Cube. just a few. <laughs> <laughs> so so I, I see, see more on, free on top of Ice Cube. I guess I'm black. Black. On topic of what we're talking about, um, I've been uh, helping out with the family, 
you know, hey. doing grocery, but that good stuff. But um, I've been actually kind of getting into making a little bit of music, producing a little bit, writing a team. Swiss Army Beats? Swiss Army Beats. Hey. No, I'm... <laughs> hey. <laughs> no. When you hey. blow up, remember who gave you that name. Swiss Army Beats. <laughs> like, they're going to be like, oh, he knocking off Swiss Beats. Is Swiss Beats your inspiration? I can see it now. Like, oh, uh, yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Yeah, sure. Go Whatever. Uh, We're going to answer that way for, like, Pitchfork. <laughs> but then when we when we get the uh, uh when we get to B T and all that, I'll be like, well, actually, it was a complete chance and coincidence. <laughs> but nothing no, for real. Life coincidence. Uh, no, but um, I've been doing that. I've been just focusing on personal pursuits that I'm not ready to delve into yet. But um, no problem. Uh, trying to get a little, a little bit more reading because I stopped reading for a while. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, same here. In, uh, Instagram captions. So um, I'm reading this book, uh, They Came Before Columbus by Ivan Van Sertima. He's a linguist. Thank you. See? Oh, my God. Wow. My dog just started it, man. So this is a great book. Why did I have that book right here, though? Yeah, it right there, That's dog. Right here. <laughs> uh, hey, bro, bro. Hey, we got to catch up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I, I'm going to read it, too, but that, I got I to gotta grab that. No, oh, yeah, for real. It's, and it's not no random mystical stuff. It's actual archaeological findings in, like, Mississippi and the Americas, you know, in North America. And it's African pottery, African mass, architect, you know, mm. different things that were found deep down that through um, a, a linguist, Ivan Van Sertima, he was like interpreting some of this stuff. And he's like, hold up, these are like ancient African languages. <laughs> so, you know, it's interesting. I can't, uh, I can't get it. Really, that moment was just now. <laughs> that was like, I was literally about to put this great. book up before you even called it. And when you and called it, like, I'm not even surprised you had it, <laughs> but you know we just trying to we just trying to build on you know I'm trying to work on myself. So interesting, y'all brought that up. A friend of mine not too long ago put me onto I think it's Mountain Moose's brother, Seitu Musa, Seitu mm -hmm. Musa, something like that. Okay. Apparently, he came here and oh. went another. That might have been one of the people y'all talking about. Like he uh. He hopped on a ship and sailed and sailed over here from Africa after his brother and handed the kingdom over to his brother, and then uh, oh. his brother did his thing. But I, I, he, I, we, shit. Yo, there's journals from like <laughs> travelers from other places where that, cause you know a lot of these some like the natives and stuff they didn't have a lot of like written language, mm -hmm. but these journals from these other you know ancient travelers or whatever they're called. Um, I'll talk about, you know, black people coming in boats mm. Mm. To, the, to the Incas and the Mayans and things like that. So it's, okay. it's just stuff that we, we weren't taught, obviously. So, okay. yeah, of course, but it's, of it's course. documented. You can find it, the information. So in just a document. that should be a good read, yo. Definitely keep it yeah. in your mind. Definitely. Yeah. So it's called, they came before Columbus. And you can find it on Amazon easy. So okay, yeah, I'm definitely check that out. Talk up to <laughs> now. Another question is, um, I oh. think Flocka brought this up. Real quick, how is real life real gonna be after this shit ends? Like, you oh, have to, quick. you have to real pull. Oh, real quick, book club, book club, plug, <laughs> book club, uh, plug. Yeah. You know, my dad be reading and watching about Neil deGrasse Tyson. I didn't know that. <laughs> Word. All right. But, um, All right. So, yeah, continue. Yeah, so when this ends, you know, we, we have to accept that nothing's going to be the same. Like, parties not going to be the same, gatherings, concerts. Word. Like, what I even heard going that, to look like? Like, I even heard that, um, I read an article that that said uh, movie theaters. Can you hear you? Can you hear me oh, now? I hear. Okay, my bad. Yeah, they said movie theaters are gonna do like what? TSA style, sorry, TSA, TSA style type shit where they screen you before you walk in the theater and 
they're gonna like space the seats and shit and um a couple sports arenas and stadiums are thinking about opening back up. Mm. Personally, I feel like they shouldn't do that unless there's no fans. Mm. Have a fanless game. I know it sounds weird, and I they probably be physical weird. fans like spitting. No, no, no. <laughs> they have their football games and basketball games, but there's no fans. It's just the players and the coaches. Oh, I was like, when you said yeah. <laughs> when you said I know it sounds crazy. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. Oh, so just stream it live. That's that's a whole actually. You but know, everyone what? gotta watch it. That's everyone's gotta watch it. it you know, cool. you know what? The games might low key be better because it's like it's one thing to catch a ball, and it's another thing catching a ball with thousands of people screaming at you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You it always hear like- how people doing wild stuff at practice. And yeah. like about the game. We about to watch practice. We're gonna watch the live on now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We go well, hear think- everything. We go hear all the curse words. <laughs> that's that's we, what I was every trying to get. Scream. Oh, you're right, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> all guys like, like, you like the mic the, the, the mic that. we go the get mic up. The mic yeah. up. Bro, the mic does be crazy. Yeah. And, 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 the crowd drowns them out because if it wasn't for the crowd, you could hear those players very clearly. You can hear the Without, cleats on the field. Word. With the, with, the, with the microphones already, they don't have to be mic'd up, though. This is going to be great. I wonder how, how much the fines are going to be for cursing and things like that. Hey man, have a, have a mature version and have a PG version. For real, <laughs> just, just, just like just, I want it raw. Last, just like the last dance docu series, right? Exactly. Yeah. Well, they like, had a, they had a, speaking of which, so they have a TV fourteen and TVMA, and you have yeah, you know, yeah, they got with all the oh, they got a big people version. That's yeah, and it's on have the ESPN y'all, site. It's right next. Have to y'all it. been? Have y'all been watching it? Yeah, I watched yes. like the first co- like three episodes. It's, it, it, it's interesting. I like, yeah. um, I mean, honestly, with anyone of that kind of status and that kind of, that accomplished, it's always, it's always going to be cool to hear those, uh, those behind the scenes stories that you're never really going to get access to. And just, yeah, I mean, what, 20, 25 years later, him counting and bringing us through all those, like, and the people around him bringing us through, like, what was actually going on, how you felt about it, and the actual mm-hmm. perception of it all. But it's, it, it's definitely, I messed with it. I like it. Word. No, no, same, same here. I saw, like, I saw Jordan in a different, in a different light. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Yeah, and like, that forgot he had to go through Larry Bird, Magic. He had to go yeah. through Isaiah Thomas. And the bad boys. And I mean, the I bad mean, boys. Like, I he went through a lot to get that right. first championship. And what's crazy, I mean, like, the uh, the athletes now they're playing on these well manicured um, courts. You know what I'm saying? Like you see, <laughs> yeah, but the like, yeah, a lot's changed. But it's it's a lot's changed. However, I will agree the competition has changed because a lot of these kids have been playing in AAU them whole lives and school. Uh-huh. You know they uh-huh. they've been having personal coaches. A lot of that more affluent ballers and so. Mm-hmm. There's, I think the level of competition has risen as well. Like the stuff that Michael Jordan was doing, that was like, oh my God, like you could name like 30 niggas in the game doing it right now. Like, on, like they get like an open court or something like that. Like when Michael Jordan was like one of a couple dudes doing it, I, I would say that. But um, at the same time, you know, there were a lot of other things like, you know, they weren't getting paid as much. Jordan was mm-hmm. going up, breaking against certain rules, things like that. So. Who just who just said it? He said Jordan was a prototype. Who said that? I did. Well, it's, it's the true. truth. Okay. I was just telling I was just telling my nephews that you know you you can never understand Michael Jordan's impact because he's too young, but just know that Michael Jordan was the first LeBron. He was the first. The, the reason when he came out, he was the first basketball player to demand that type of attention to mm-hmm. get those type of endorsement. De- like you like. Yes, we grew up like we grew up. We grew up at the tail end of uh, Jordan's career. You know, I was born in '88, the, the and his that, last year was '98 with the Bulls. So I vaguely remember when he played the Jazz and everything. But mm. his impact, like I remember watching him so smack good. us up, smacking the Heat up when we watched. Oh, him. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On UPN 33, but like at, at, at one point, 
at one point in his career, when when anyone in the world thought basketball, they thought him. No mm-hmm. other player has that now or will ever have that. It's impossible to get now because Michael Jordan already did it. He already, you know, he already put his footprint down. It's hard to fill those footprints. Like, yeah. he was the first one. Like, his his impact was as great. Like, like if you if you ever see if you ever see like a default player on a game or like a cartoon, they look like Michael Jordan. Right, right. Skin and bald headed. He's a fucking prototype. It's crazy. I would say that's why the only thing there's only left to do are things like you know sharpshooters like you know Steph Curry and things like or even Clay Thompson. And, you oh, know, no, people, like people who are or I should say good long range shooters. I mean, is what I want to say. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they yeah, made their mark on the game in I mean, mm-hmm. their own way too. Like, think about it. Now the game is all about the three ball instead of mid range yeah. jumpers and taking the exactly. ball to the hole. It helped take so, it to the level. I, I I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. That uh, curry is insane. Mm-hmm. Like he's he exploded. Yeah. Come on, man. Like but, you know what though? Like, like, I think he had kids wearing under armor shoes. No one does that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. He's, he's right. He has a wacky I don't know, but when you compare yeah players from different eras like i think it's i think people got to realize that like those transcendent players the the steph curry's the michael jordan's the the lebron the james the kobe's the magics they could have played uh-huh. in any era and still did what they did like right. that's how good they were like yeah. they, like, like so those certain players are in a class above by themselves now if you want to argue here dr there, j could have played you know. yeah. you're right dr no. j too the reason the No, reason yeah, no, you right. Them niggas them niggas can hop in a time machine and get out at any time and, and ball. be a star. <laughs> like not everybody can do that. The and there's some people we can't name, like old players from the black and white days, like even white boys that were doing some of them trick Jerry shots West. that Steph Curry be doing and stuff. So like you Jerry know, West, West, he still come, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's still be. Right, it's still be. Well, a lot of a lot of these athletes now, like the reason they're doing what they're doing is because they've been practicing the moves they see Jordan do. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Over yeah. And, over. and he's the he's the elevation of the competition. So when people are like, "Well, the competition is better now," I'm like, "He's the reason." They're exactly. Better. You know. And also, keep and in like, mind, like when people like when people say, "Oh, Michael Jordan would be a regular dude in this era," they don't know basketball. Another Michael thing, Jordan could go anywhere, just like LeBron. And True. still be Michael Jordan because that documentary showed you, like, there was a part in the documentary where he was talking well, about why he pushes his teammates so hard, and uh-huh. he started crying. He was like, "If yeah. you don't want to play that hard, don't do it." And he started crying. That's that's his mentality. Oh, yeah. His his competition is so high it makes him fucking cry. Can you imagine? He's insane with the competition. He breathes yeah. it. Uh huh. Um, going back to what uh I seen Black said with with uh. Oh, I think it was a uh, well, actually, about uh, <laughs> more players couldn't do anything. With, well, wouldn't be they copied Jordan's moves. Like a, mm-hmm. a certain part in the documentary, with they they interviewed Kobe Bryant, rest in peace. But uh, and Kobe talked about his Jordan's impact on him, and not only just growing up and watching his moves, but when he got to the league, how how close they they became, and anytime he needed help, he would hit Jordan up, and he would help him out. Know what I mean? So yeah, I, yeah. Jordan, Jordan, um, Jordan picks and chooses the players he likes that he helps. Right. Like, he loves Allen Iverson. He loves mm-hmm. Melo. He loves Wade. He loves LeBron. He loves Kobe. It's like he he even had a list. He was like, oh, if you could choose any player from this era to go one on one, who would you go against? He said, oh, Wade, Melo, LeBron, Kobe. Yeah. And he think yeah. you had somebody in so like, like that's that's another tier. The, the Michael Jordan thinks you're good here. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro. Bro. Hey, man, I hope you guys deserve Steph it. Steph Curry's not a Hall of Famer yet. <laughs> no, no, no. Steph Curry's a Hall of Famer. He's, yeah, he's a Hall of Famer. I think he LeBron is. is the next prototype. It, it, I'm just honestly, saying Jordan said that. LeBron is the current prototype. That's everybody it, that's yeah, everybody that's wants to be a point forward. Everybody wants yeah. to be a small forward that can play all five positions and run the point and be athletic, but... LeBron I've was made got, in the lab. You can't copy him. Like, yeah, you got seven footers. LeBron kinda. is the alien. Like, you can't do it. Like, it's, but, it's but crazy. But then you got a Zion that's probably 
Zion's gonna be a problem in like four years, yo. He is a problem. He's already a problem. You, I've you never. think he's a problem. Zion's gonna be ridiculous. As long as yeah. I've, I've been watching, I've been watching basketball for twenty years now. I've <laughs> never seen a nigga uh, second jump so quickly like Zion. He'll he's miss a, a shot. bigger Charles and Barkley. Like, and before it hits the rim and bounces off a rebound, he's already up in the air. I've never seen something like that. He's, he's scary. Like a, Bigger, yeah. faster Charles Barkley, dog. Yo, that, that's way to put it. He, he's a terrifying player, bro. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What scared me is when he came back off the injury in the first two games, he did nothing but drain threes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 threes. You thought I was a dude. Yeah, you thought all I do is dunk. That nigga went seven for seven, I think, or some crazy <laughs> shit. Yo, <laughs> I did. Just... <laughs> Yo, hold up. I had this conversation with a, with a friend of mine on Twitter. Imagine if more um, black American kids got into soccer. Oh, they Into it. soccer? Yeah. Oh, no, no. Yeah, it, it, it would belong to us. It would be our sport. <laughs> you know I mean? that, like, that they come in, they learn the game, get some skill on them, bro. It's Who, who, who stopped From them? a young age, too? Who, who, who like stopping, the Europeans. But, bro, who's stopping a 6'4"? <laughs> like midfielder who could probably score a goal from halfway across the field and, Nobody. and, 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 and will shoulder anybody off the ball. Who's yeah. him? The only Who's person stopping him? him is himself in the grass in front of him. If it trips no. him. Not the, the, no, nothing's stopping oh, that nigga. Like, I, I did want to bring I, up a I have a, I have a theory. Hold on. I have a theory that the whole soccer is stupid, that soccer is gay. Um, narrative was pushed because they don't want competition like that. They want that tunnel. The NBA and the, and the NFL want to be like, wait, no, you, you want to play this sport. You don't want to play that sport. Yeah. Imagine you put a youth program in the middle of the hood and like really bro. cultivate that shit. Bro. Yeah. Like, really hey, cultivate. Bro, let, let, them, let them kids thing. find out they like soccer. Hold up. Leo Messi, okay. dude. They'll pre imagine... Hey, Imagine Cristiano the Ronaldo, what? Bro, they <laughs> right. Messi, who? The sports what? man. Yeah. They got here. Quan Davidson, <laughs> right? <laughs> Billy. <laughs> uh, the sports man. Dante <laughs> Jenkins. Right. No, the sports. <laughs> right. the, the sports. The sports mentality that they have in America, dog. Like a kid will literally like take up a soccer ball, dri juggle it to and from school every day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Right. Like and right. another good example is your boy that's in our uh, Formula One. What's the black guy's name? Oh, Lewis. Lewis. Anytime black people jump into a sport, we don't usually do. We fucking dominate. Mm -hmm. All right, let's not be all black supremacists no, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are. We are. <laughs> We are, but, black, I, but I do, I do want to, I do want to bring up a point from earlier that I wanted to make that we also got to keep in mind. Jordan didn't really start balling like that till his like last couple of high school years. Imagine he was one of these mm. kids that started when he was like four. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. that's just that's great a point. straight work ethic, dog. Yeah, that's yeah. great point. work ethic, like competition. He set the bar at that. He showed up. Yeah. At this man ain't start showing up to his freshman year in college like that, like that, with the flashiness. He he got cut. He got cut when he's a sophomore in his high school team. But yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like it wasn't until like his freshman college year when when they gave him a chance, and he was just like, and boom, he boom, gave him a shot in the championship in his yeah. freshman year. Yeah, mm -hmm. but and, but leading yeah. up to that, he he performed. He worked his ass off. Yeah, he did. Yeah, absolutely. And that's one thing I'll never take away from Michael Jordan. You can say what you want about him, but personally, I've never seen a basketball player with more intensity that works harder and has that killer instinct. Like, this nigga used to go in opposing players' locker rooms and fuck with them. <laughs> like, um, He's in so much pain, God. <laughs> no, he's in, no, he's insane. Like, Do um, Dominique Wilkins, if you know him, you know him. He said yeah. Michael Jordan came into the locker room and he walked up to the guy that was going to be guarding him he was like, he was like, lace him up. It's going to be a long fucking night. And he dropped 50 that night. <laughs> that man is insane. <laughs> Michael Jordan is insane, bro. Uh, yeah. Watch a documentary. There's like, yeah, you, you do have to watch just it. That. I promise but the common theme That's is you don't want to get him mad because <laughs> you don't pop really him on your head. That's one thorn. But you don't even got to get him mad. That's He'll make right. it on his own head. Uh, yep, yep. 
Le Bradford Smith knows. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Yeah, but, um, Bra- yo, Portland. For those who don't know, Portland Bradford Smith, dog. Like he was, he balled on Jordan that night. Dropped thirty-seven on Jordan when he played. What was it a Washington Bullet? Washington? Yeah, it was the Bullets. The Bullets yeah, back then. And they and played on a back-to-back. <laughs> and they played on back-to-back. And Jordan came back. He dropped thirty-six. He was mad. He missed it in the first it. half. In the first, in the first <laughs> half. That's true. And he was hot because he said he was gonna match him at the first half. He was still mad. He was like. <laughs> I said I was going to match him. He's like, bro, <laughs> the game's not over. But and that's it. And if you don't know, he made all that up. He he, right. he made up a story and said, LeBradford Smith tapped him after the game. He said, nice, nice game, Mike. And he said, and he used that. And he said, years later in the interview, he was like, nah, I made it up. So this man makes up scenarios in his mind. He's psycho. To raise his intensity. He's insane, man. He's insane. He's a lunatic. So what are we really <laughs> following, guys? <laughs> No, no, no. Let me if you want to win, you got to be crazy. Let the madness yeah. drive you to success. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, That's the name of this episode. Let the madness drive you to success. <laughs> Boom. And use that while you're in the hyperbolic chamber. Uh-huh. Let it drive you to madness and let that madness drive you to success. See, Boom. I'm straight. How long did it take? We came out with a word. <laughs> For real. We sound ridiculous. <laughs> but like low, low key the low key the cabin fever is like setting in a little bit because today I drove to the beach just to like sit out on the beach and just not be inside. I didn't really? do anything. Yeah. You no, got I didn't go on the beach. Days. The beach is closed. You got fourteen <laughs> days. <laughs> fourteen days for what? Fourteen. Damn it. Oh Boy, I, I ain't going out right when give it another Not month. going out no. in the first wave. Nope. Let yeah. that first wave catch it. I'll you know how wild ladies. it is out there? Is... <laughs> I'm good. I'm straight. They, they I'm might not time. see black people for another three months. <laughs> <laughs> they might not see people, smart people, black people. People, people gonna be out months. there. They'll be like, what? No, there's going to be black people out. There will be. There'll be. People will be out and be like, where, where, where are all the black people? Where Brains are don't people? have skin color. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> I, I <laughs> Most but people, most people that's bunking and look like us, bro. Trust me, for real. But as Flock of Zulu would pull it, put it so elegantly, I think that's an episode, fellas. Yes, fellas, introduce yourselves. Yes, appreciate. Good seeing my niggas, Boomai, and I see Black again. It's your boy, Dramatic, Loud Pack, Chopra, Wave Chappelle, Wavy McGrady. But my new one, Quarantine Tarantino. You go see me on the silver screen soon. Don't worry. Oh, hey. It's your boy, I Seen Black, a.k.a. Black Dynamite, a.k.a. Wade Bixby, a.k.a. Shabby Ranks, a.k.a. Samurai Black, a.k.a. Black Dynamite, a.k.a. I got some more that I can't remember right now, a.k.a. Swiss Army nigga, Swiss Army nigga, Swiss Army nigga, Swiss Army nigga, Swiss Army nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, hit the spot right there. Word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. It's your boy David Bomaye, aka Chico Fantastico, Laugh Fantastic Chico, aka Sirac Obama, aka Hennessy Blessed. And you know it's good to be back. Good to see y'all, boys. I'm gonna leave oh, it show. last and certainly, definitely, most certainly not least. Hey, last but not least. It's Flaco Zulu, a.k.a. Sir Black Sam III, a.k.a. Pablo Escovich, a.k.a. Wait, me, I'm there. A.k.a. Stop the violence. Hey, would y'all boys be safe? Wash your hands and wear the mask. We'll Watch be out of here. And send them a call sign. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let y'all niggas. Yeah, man. Thank y'all for Thank tuning you. in. Make sure y'all hit the website, hit the IG, hit the Twitter, hit the Facebook. We all the same. TPSP Podcast. Podcast. We out. Get out. With L. Cool J.